for too long, our country has underfunded and undervalued mental health and substance use prevention, treatment, and recovery services with devastating results. We want to fundamentally change the model when it comes to the delivery of behavioral health care. The CCBHC model is about outreach. It's about getting out there, finding vulnerable populations, going out into the community, and engaging them in care. Five years ago, we were serving 300 people with substance use disorders. Um, now we are serving 1,500. And as we know right now, with the opiate crisis, um, providing services is saving lives. And that means that we're serving so many more people who are not using and who are in recovery and hopefully getting better uh, every single day. We do have the ability to provide in one location primary care services, substance abuse services, mental health services. We're now open weekends, we're open evenings. Uh, we provide substance abuse services, which we didn't in the past. Two years ago, you know, you would call to make an appointment. You might get in within a week, maybe two. Now you can show up at our door and be seen the same day. I can see people up to three times a week. I can actually go out into the community if they need it. Some of the disorders don't allow people to actually come out of their home as often. And so I can actually work with them there and get them out into the community. Law enforcement officers are able to reach out to us for consultation seven days a week, 24 hours a day, um, during which they're able to identify what the best level of care for an individual could be. We've been able to save law enforcement officers in Northern Oklahoma uh, 275 days of continuous driving. We offer state-of-the-art behavioral health programs throughout Nevada. And we offer things Nevada's never seen, 24-hour crisis intervention, 24-7 crisis intervention. Part of that is also being able to distribute Narcan kits, and that is something that can reverse an opiate overdose in the moment that it's happening. We've distributed 724 kits, which represents 1,448 opportunities to save a life. From the time before we were a CCBHC to now, as a CCBHC, we see a thousand more people a year. To me, that's a thousand lives saved. Prevention works, treatment is effective, and recovery is possible. We know that recovery for mental health and substance use conditions should be the expectation, not the exception.